Helmets. There's a lot of them in Skyblock, and they're by far the most broken armor piece in the game. But more importantly, there's also a lot of bad ones to laugh at. I mean, look at this one. <laughs> We've had a few <clears throat> technical difficulties with the previous tier list designs, but this time around we just have a regular old tier list. Wait, what's this? Don't press button? Of course I'm pressing! This video is sponsored by Mindtree. And fellas, look at these textures. This is how their hoe looks. Here I am mining. With meteors that fall from the sky. Cool stackable spawners, automatic placeable farms and mines, the AFK arena where you earn rewards by doing uh, literally nothing but standing there. A neat rank up system granting access to better and better mines, and dude, don't even get me started on the custom fishing. The new ore hunt season's just begun as well, so what are you doing? Play it now by clicking on the link in the pinned comment, clicking play now, and then copy pasting the IP in Minecraft. And if you're not at your PC, you can choose the other option to receive a reminder. Thanks to Mindtree for sponsoring the video, and let's get back to it. Well, that was interesting. Anyways, a lot of these helmets are just kind of a meme. So don't be out here like Powliner, but you forgot the cow hat. No, no one cares about the cow hat, okay? There are some interesting ones though, and the blaze hat is not one of them. It gives 20 strength and normally I just chuck it into the F tier and call it a day. But this item is actually a common drop from the blaze's ball spawns and thus does nothing but fill up your inventory. So we're actually gonna make a new tier. Uh, Z tier. Actually no, J tier. The fish hat is a nice little reference to Magikarp from Pokemon, uh, but sadly this one doesn't evolve into anything. Except for the F tier. The magma fish hat though, you have no idea. It says it does the same thing, but no, it also tells you to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to Powliner. Subscribe, subscribe to Powliner. The fish said so. You cannot decline. Maybe even click on this little fella to make him happy. Anyhow, love this hat. S tier. Moving on, the salmon hat actually has a story behind it. It used to be craftable with just 8 raw salmon, but this crafting recipe was later removed, and a new epic rarity salmon hat is supposedly coming soon. Even though it's been like a year or something since they said that. But hey, at least it's not not coming soon. Anyways, because of this, original salmon hats are now worth quite a few schmeckles to say the least. It do be poopy though. Oh boy, the slime hat. On the surface, it seems like just another throwaway meme helmet. But turns out, this thing's bugged. And you can somehow keep the knockback immunity even if you take it off. Why haven't they fixed it? Well, according to the patch notes, they have. Four times, in fact. One time they even had to revert the fix because it caused a dupe glitch. I mean, I couldn't make this up even if I tried. B for bugged. The sea lantern hat is so incredibly bad that it's funny. Breath five times longer? Yeah, I don't think I even want to keep breathing after seeing this one. Oh yeah, and all the other random hats can also go here. I am bumping the salmon hat up to D tier though, because it does look kinda funny. Next, the Enderman mask is not only hot garbage, but also fake news, because Skyblock Endermen don't even get aggressive when you make eye contact. They do when you look at something else though. F tier. The lantern helmet's ability can actually make it reach some pretty impressive HP and defense for an uncommon helmet. It's still bad though. The rabbit hat used to be incredible for maneuvering around the floor 7 boss fight. And then they just disabled it in the boss fight altogether. Because fun is not allowed. Still good for the free secret trap room though. Also I have a recombed one. Uh, please don't ask why. C tier. The happy mask was pretty much mandatory back when Big D was mayor. But it no longer serves any purpose and I hate that guy anyways, so uh, F tier. Okay. Now we're actually getting to some decent stuff. The zombie heart, crystallized heart and revived heart are all pretty much the same thing. But they're good, 
Double healing is always amazing, and I'm honestly not sure why early and mid game tanks don't use them. B for all of these. Oh, and the Reaper mask is obviously insane. I mean it's the best tank helmet. What do you expect me to say? S tier. But it's not as good as the magma fish hat, so uh, uh, there we go. The vampire mask and the vampire witch mask are both used by monkeys who AFK goblins. And somehow the worst one is more expensive. I don't know, C tier I guess. The Krampus helmet is barely even a helmet. Its main use is being a minion upgrade and I have no clue how good it actually is. So I'll just give it a C tier and hope everyone agrees. The spirit mask makes you invincible for 3 seconds instead of dying and is really useful for specific situations like floor 7 and fighting this absolute donut. B tier. The water hydro head is very cheap and great for early game fishing but you quickly replace it. C tier. This next one is tragic. The Crown of Greed is terrible. It used to act as a budget warden helmet, but then the admin said no. And all it does now is make you go bankrupt at record speeds. <coughs> Speaking of the warden helmet, it's insane. The speed loss isn't that bad, since you'll still have 200 with the god pot, and the damage difference is huge. Even with all the broken new Crimson and Terror gear, the Warden Helmet is probably still the best Berserker and Archer Helmet for outside dungeons. Top of S tier, almost as good as the Magma Fish Hat. Moving on, the Pig Mask gives one speed. And that's it, it's not meant to be good, it's just a cool reference to Technoblade, but all that being said, it's still not good. S tier, because I'm scared of his fans. Okay, Dungeon Helmet time everyone. The Mender Helmet is bad, just buy the Mender Fedora instead, it's really not expensive. D and C tier for these two respectively. And their upgrade, the Mender Crown, is the best healer helmet in the game. Except that it isn't, because the Reaper Mask's description is a lie. It not only doubles your healing, but also any healing you do on your teammates. So the Reaper Mask is just better. It is also more expensive though, so C tier for the Mender Crown. If you ever see anyone voluntarily using the sniper helmet, you should immediately call the police. Because this thing is a crime and I never want to see it again. The dark goggles are good, don't get me wrong, but you can just buy the better shadow goggles instead since they don't have a catacombs requirement to use. Or maybe even buy the wither goggles, which are completely broken by the way. These three are the only armor pieces to increase ability damage, and every mage ever uses them. B, A and S tier respectively. The Bonzo Mask is pretty much the exact same as the Spirit Mask, but much cheaper and only works in dungeons. B tier. And the Precursor Eye is very sad. Despite its beefy stats, no one will ever use it for anything except for hyper sweating zealots. And those make like negative coins anyways. All you need to know is that this thing is rarer than a Necron's handle and not even profit from the chest. D tier. Golden and diamond dungeon heads are not only amazing, but also act as a really cool reward. They're only really usable on one floor each, but the difference in stats between these and a Necron helmet is crazy. But I guess you already know which tier I'm putting them in because of the thumbnail. A tier. El Bozo. And just like the thumbnail's a lie, the title is as well. Because I'm now moving on to other armor pieces and you can't stop me. The obsidian chestplate has a funny ability and used to be solid back in 1995. But no one really cares about it anymore. It is very cheap though. D tier. The mithril coat is one of those crazy cheese items used to survive things that would otherwise one shot you. Not as applicable as the spirit and bonzo mask though. C tier. These free suck. I'm not even gonna say their names, you already know where they're going. The stereo pants are just meant to be a funny little item. They sometimes annoy me, but then I remember that these dudes really put speakers on pants. And my day immediately gets better. D tier because I like them. The farmer boots are really useful for moving around the hub if you don't have a god pot. And the rancher boots accomplish the exact same thing, except they also allow you to set a max speed. So they're pretty much mandatory for farming. C and A tier for these two respectively. The squid boots look cool and that's about it. As far as I know the spring boots are actually really useful for getting the energy crystals on floor 7. But here's the thing, 
you gotta do bingo. So it's gonna be a D for me. And finally, the spirit boots used to be crazy back in the day because you could literally fly around the floor 7 boss room with them. But nowadays they're still decent on lower floors due to the speed they give. So B tier. And that's it. If you're wondering why I didn't rank all the other helmets, it's because I've already done that. This video was just for armor pieces without a full set. You know what? I'm clicking it again. Wait, what's this? No. No, no, no! Thank you.